Okay. Checking the quality on Restream. I tried adjusting the height of the camera to make sure that it was okay. Hopefully, hopefully it's all right. Hang on. Oh, whoops. I don't even have the unpause. There we go. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's still kind of fuzzy. Hang on, let me adjust the height a little bit more. Let's see if this one helps. Hmm. So fuzzy. to try this for now. Sorry it's so fuzzy. The um, camera quality isn't the greatest. But yeah! Um, so different... Uh, some little updates from last uh, time I was embroidering. Uh, so... I was trying to make like these little charms. Uh, like Hollow Knight charms to go into like these things. Uh, the problem is is that if they're pretty small and um, someone had suggested doing the uh, Mark of Pride. I don't know if you can see this. Let me go ahead. There we go. I don't know if you can see this or it's upside down. <laughs> but along the, along the bottom right here were my three attempts. Uh, this was my first one, this is my second one, and this is my third one. And I was just struggling the whole way. I was trying different color combinations, I was trying different things, it wasn't working. So, I'm just gonna put that aside for now. And thought, oh, it might be easier to do, like, character, uh, like, little faces, little avatars. And this one actually turned out good! This is Quirrell! Ah, uh, it's so hard to see, I'm sorry. So yeah, and then I decided I wanted to do a grub. And I didn't really like this attempt, so I'm going with this one. And what's perfect. <laughs> Hang on. What's great about this is that one of the charms... Hi, Starweaver! Welcome! One of the charms looks exactly like the little uh, glass thing that it's in. The little... <laughs> So, once I get this all embroidered out, and then I put it into this charm, then it's gonna look perfect! <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And so sorry that the, that the quality is so fuzzy. I don't know why it is. Hi, Dardivius! Welcome! Good morning. Good morning indeed. Okay. How is everyone? Doing good. Doing good. Today's Saturday. Just kind of kind of chilling. <laughs> you know when you're an adult and there's like no vacations, you don't get vacations. Or yeah. Hi Lamplight! Those look so good. Oh, thank you. Yay! Yeah, this will be my practice one and I'm going to do a few more charms up here. And then I'll cut it out and actually put set them in their little charms. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll be able to get to it this stream. That's okay. So just getting some job training done. Oh nice. As an adult, I can confirm no vacation. Yep. <laughs> yep. Colors are kind of subtle from each other. Teeny tiny fellow killed your family. Oh no! That's not good. The grubs, or like the um, what are they called? I'm using these different scissors right now. It came in a pack of two. This music is decidedly not classical. I. What? What is this music? Classical background music. What? It's not. <laughs> that isn't classical. That's okay though. It sounds nice. 
Okay, so this color is uh, 958. These little spools come in like this big pack, and it's actually fairly cheap. I think it was about $50 on Amazon, which is fairly cheap, considering there's like a whole bunch of the strings in there. But it corresponds to the DMC color file, so that's really nice. If I need to get more, then I just have to look up this number. That ain't classical <laughs> misleading titles. <laughs> Who knows, maybe one day it will be considered classical. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's okay. Oh yeah, I was wanting to do like art today, uh, continuing to work on my model. I've made some good progress on it. But I've been working on that and another project pretty much all week, and so I just, like, wanted to do something else. The agony. <laughs> you recorded on a microwave? <laughs> It's a fancy microwave. So one thing I was taught from that one course um, was to instead of putting your thread behind like you would normally would, you go upwards with the needle, you start downwards right here. And what it does is that it frees up space behind so that um, it's not hard for you to push up your needle. So you keep the knots out of the way. Burnout is real, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm good though. I'm good though. Hope, um, thankfully, just keeping like a good schedule, having lots of breaks, helps tremendously. You're on break at work. You got like five minutes left before you go. You go back to people yelling about prescriptions. Oh no, I'm sorry. Are you a pharmacist? Just the other day, we had to get some medication, and yeah. The struggle is real. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm just thinking of going like this. Oh, wait, no. The only problem with, uh, with embroidery is that you can't- it's not easy to go back on your stitch, like, undo a stitch without cutting it. Or breaking the fabric, too. There's no undo! Oh, pharmacy tech. Nice! Yeah, we went to this one place, and unfortunately, there have been several times where um, our orders weren't put in. They were gonna take half an hour to fill it, and yeah. I'm sure it's pretty difficult, though, at times, with all the different uh, things you gotta do. All the screaming, none of the pay, what? Yeah, I, I think I knew someone who used to, who was studying to be a pharmacist, and you have to memorize, um, like a whole bunch, whole bunch of, uh, medication names, uh, what they do, how they interact with each other. And there's, like, multiple names for each and every, uh, medicine. There's the common name, and then there's the, like, scientifically given name. You heavily dislike Master... Master what? Yeah. Toiny. up some embroidery videos of like different stitches and stuff it's crazy just how many stitches there are so creative and they all do such different things oh feather worthy master feather worthy i am unsure who that is oh no i did it too high no see no i gotta pull it back out no! Go back out! No! Ugh. 
Ugh, can't undo. You can't undo who you are. Uh, how did this happen? How do I undo this? Do I just like, here. What if I go to the very back and then stab it? That usually works in real life. That's how you get things to work. <laughs> Have I tried cross-stitch before? I have when I was very young. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I wasn't very good. It's like a Brady Brit knife. <laughs> I like to think of cross-stitch as like pixel cloth. Because it's basically uh, pixelation. You cannot do a woo. You can do ara ara. <laughs> I know you didn't ask. <laughs> no, undo. Okay, this is. I like to embroidery out in the living room, and Knox comes over and likes to do embroidery snuggles. He just snuggles on my lap while I'm working away. Yeah. Okay, I think this is as good as it will get. There's a tiny string holding it down, but it's okay. Oh, chat is invisible. Oops! <laughs> Thank you, sorry. Ah, oh, where'd it go? Thank you! <laughs> sorry about that. You have a cross-stitch project from like 7, 10 years ago that's still sitting in your closet. Oh dear. I swear, the quality just keeps getting fuzzier and fuzzier with time. Yeah. Something that's been a wrong, long around, as long as embroidery, we're going to have a lot of techniques and skills. That's cool. Yeah, like cooking too. So many different techniques, so many different Special things to do. Okay, it's good! <laughs> that only took like five minutes. Okay, stop spinning. Alright, Stormweaver, I'll take I'll take your warning. I don't want to say bad things. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still kind of unsure if I want to sell these on Etsy or something. Yeah. Hi, Lana! Welcome! Welcome, welcome. We are sewing a- or not sewing, uh, embroidering a small grub. Oh yeah, and I'm not sure if you guys saw this already, but the charm I'm going to put it in. So you know the little, uh, can- or glass things that it's trapped in? I found the perfect charm for it! This right here. Oh, you can't really see. Uh, this one right here. Uh, it's still fuzzy. But yeah, it looks a lot like the uh, the glass things that it's in. So I'm gonna put it in that. <laughs> Lana, you've been welcomed by the welcomer. Welcome, welcome, Sabbath morning. There'll be rest from every care. Welcome, welcome, Sabbath morning. <laughs> you guess you could call it charming. <laughs> Ouch, that's painful. Only I can make the puns here. <laughs> You guys got any fun plans coming up? Just kind of moseying around with my stuff. Uh, it's so hard to uh, embroider so small. And like the needle itself makes a big hole um, when you push it through the fabric. Yeah. Not really? Oh, it's all good. Sometimes you need a rest day. I'm not good about relaxing. 
Oh, we've got accordions in here. Kind of sounds like Professor Layton. I'm not sure how this is classical, but okay. <laughs> Have you guys ever played the Professor Layton game? Do I play Cookie Cookie Run Kingdom? I haven't. Um, I've seen a little bit of it though. It looks like it's pretty fun. Sorry, the my shadow. My shadow is in the way. Should I get this right here? I'm trying to maintain the clean lines of the eyeball. I like this music. I have to look up which, uh, hang on, let me check out what time this is. Okay, this is by, this is also by Expert Blogger, um, just so you know. And it's, uh, 1.19.02. I like it. Hang on, let me save that, actually. <clears throat> Emily is your favorite character? Wait, which one? Oh, Emily from uh, Cookie Run Kingdom, or, yeah. Gonna be streaming later today? Oh, nice, getting back into the Saturday streams. Okay, uh, what time? Because there's another stream I was wanting to watch. Uh, these uh, guys who are playing Myst, M-Y-S-T. I suggested it to them and they're like, okay, we'll, we'll do it, I guess. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Block listed, ha ha. You became the light source. Oh no! The radiance! Exciting Saturday? Yeah, what time? What time are you gonna stream? Are you gonna. You're gonna continue streaming Breath of the Wild? Oh, oh! Professor Layton! Oh, Emily for Professor Layton! Yes! I. I haven't played. Well, I know. I've played number four. I played the fourth one. And kind of lost interest with Professor Layton after that, but I know that there was a fifth one, and it has a lot more backstory about her. But I'll try not to sp say any spoilers, just in case. Used to stream from 2 to 4. Feel like that was a bit too early for most people. Oh. Hey, MRS! Welcome! Yeah, my favorite Professor Layton's were... Second and third one. I think the second one was actually my favorite. All right, so not two to four. Um, I might, I might be out and about after, after two. I'm really sorry. One of these days, I'll have to capture stream. <laughs> You've been welcomed by the welcomer. What can I say except you're welcome? All right, these tiny knots are a little bit tricky. Trying to make it nice and smooth, but it's a little bit bumpy. This music sounds like it's from Over the Garden Wall. It's pretty nice. Wait! <laughs> this is the Star Spangled- wait, no! Star Spangled Banner? Yeah? In the home of the brave. <laughs> it took me until now! Just to realize that. <laughs> Total good, it'll be a while till you're done with the stream run. Awesome. Oh, AM or PM, yeah. <laughs> yes, that is classical music. The Star Spangled Banner. <clears throat> All right, let's see if I can get through here. I don't know if I should... Because the thing about it, too, is the direction that things are going. No, oh, that should be fine. If I go up instead of, like, going across, doing tiny stitches across, that might actually be better. Yeah, I think that turned out okay. <coughs> Alright, probably... 
can do the same over here. Uh, once again, I'm so sorry for the fuzziness. We don't have better cameras, really. You haven't gotten Discord, so you just did? Awesome! Welcome to the dark side. Hello, Doper! Welcome! Alright, I'm starting to run a little bit low on the stream, so I'm just gonna do a bunch of the small parts right here. Yeah. My art is so charming. Oh, thank you! I try. I try. <clears throat> Fuzziness is okay. I suppose so. So long as you guys don't mind. Uh, hopefully one day I'll get a better camera. We'll see. We'll see. to talk about what to talk about oh what did you guys think of uh, FNAF's security breach I watched uh, let's see yeah why did the man miss the funeral <laughs> what why why did he miss the funeral hang on let me think about it why did the man miss the funeral he wasn't a morning person! <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> Has Alex gush about Encanto on stream yet? Uh, I haven't. But yes, I... I felt like... I really do like it. It's uh, definitely one of the... One of the best films I've seen from Disney. At the same time, um, I feel like it could have been executed a little bit differently. Um, there was just so much just kind of like squished into one movie I felt like could be um, extended um, a little bit more. It seems like they're planning on making a show, so I think that's, that's just fine, um, just to explore more of the world, because there's so much into it. But yeah, I really like it. <clears throat> the only thing you've seen for FNAF's security breach is the song. <laughs> Take a nap. <laughs> Sorry, fellas, but I'm back. No, welcome. You are welcome here. Yeah, I also felt that security breach was a bit rushed and um, has a lot of bugs that that needs to be fixed a little bit. A lot of people say, oh, it's because the fans were rushing the devs, but the thing is, is that the devs can choose to kind of ignore what fans are saying and just not rush a product. Um, I think that's what Team Cherry is doing. There's a lot of people, like, kind of begging for content from them, but I feel like they're just focusing on making a good game, because the problem... There's a big problem with a lot of game companies, uh sending out a game that is full of bugs, unfinished, broken, and things like that. So, yeah. <clears throat> I love that the moral isn't magic is bad because magic is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wish they, that they that they did a few things differently. Um to add more emotion to the to the movie. I don't know, it just might be the oddest snob in me, or something. Hello Knight Godmaster felt rushed. Oh, really? That's the... Uh, that's the squiggly... The squiggly golden one. That's that's what I'm calling her. The, <laughs> the uh, god seeker, yeah. Encanto did a decent job with its dark story premise. Yeah, I think it did. It didn't shy away from that. That's pretty cool. 
<laughs> Feel the same way about Encanto. Most of the recent animated Disney films. Too much story crunched and too short of runtime. Yeah. Yes, yes, I agree. All of the characters were endearing, too. <clears throat> Lots of small bugs. Oh. There's bugs in the code. Ha 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 ha. I bet that joke wasn't shared at Team Cherry. <laughs> but yeah, things like Cyberpunk or some Cyberpunk 2077 and Fallout 76 were just way too rushed. Obviously people were mad and then they're like, oh well, you wanted you wanted the game, right? So we made it fast for you. It's like, no, ignore your fan base if they're not going to if they're actually not going to help with development to, or night, you know. There's something like called feedback, which is okay, but like giving in to the pressures of a fan base isn't the best idea. You like the flip side of the embroidery too? Oh, thanks! <laughs> yeah, it's all fuzzy! <laughs> Cyberpunk is so gritty it makes you feel bad. Oh. Songs from Encanto sounded generic, didn't mesh well with the art style. Other music composers. Yeah. You seen Encanto is a quote we don't talk about, Bruno. Why did you bring him up? <laughs> I kind of liked them. I felt that, uh, what was her name? The strong ladies one. I felt her animation sequence was very out of place uh, for her song. But I kind of like the music. It's a mix of traditional and pop. What I appreciate is that they actually made their own original music. I'm okay with um, lots of singing. So long as it's their own original music instead of just reusing pop songs. To be like, yeah. You have a lot of opinions surrounding animation studios. <laughs> That's all good. That's all good. I have a lot too. I tend not to share them too much because I know that a lot of people um, enjoy them and stuff. So I don't want to do that. But yeah. <clears throat> Continue animation talk. <laughs> yeah. I don't like Disney as a company. I like their movies, uh, some of them, and yeah, I just don't think that they're a terribly ethical company in many ways. <laughs> You're easy to please, so you like all the music and animations, yeah. The problem too with uh, having an art background is that sometimes you look at things critically instead of just enjoying it for as it is. So that could be that could be a bit a bit of an issue. You kind of wish you can take it all back and just be like, I just want to watch it and just enjoy it and not constantly be thinking of compositions, what I would change and all that stuff. You good? Nuggies, welcome. Did you bring the nuggies this time? If Disney takes this down because of what you said, that's true. <laughs> I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised, actually. <laughs> I saw this one video of like all the movie studio openings. Their openings uh, kind of all mushed together and at the very end it's all a part of Disney where it's like Disney keeps on buying other, <laughs> other uh, movie companies and then kind of shutting them down. <clears throat> Blue sky. <laughs> Can you just like Lin Manuel and pop music? I'll listen to Encanto Source alone, huh? I don't know people very well, like famous people. I know Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer is amazing. Uh, Danny Elfman. Uh, John Powell. John Powell is amazing too. But yeah. I should play Cookie Run? I could probably, is it, is it an app? It looks like it's an app. I'm fairly, I'm also fairly good with resisting the temptation to buy things on games. Cause I'm like, dude, I can't use this in real life. 
there's no need for it. And if I have to pay to win, then I'm just not gonna play. I haven't spent a single cent on, um, what is it? Clash Royale? Yeah. You don't know or care for celebrities. Yeah. It's almost noon, you haven't eaten? Yeah, go eat, go eat! Yeah, but, uh, Clash Royale. And, yeah, I've got all of my, my deck completely maxed out to level 14. And I haven't spent a single cent on this game. I spent too much time. Which, uh, I can't... <laughs> I can't ever get back. That's okay. Time, patience, sanity. <laughs> Clash me like... <laughs> what I like about it is that it's not a pay-to-win game. And people who do pay to level up their stuff, it's quite easy to tell because your skills aren't up to snuff for the level that you end up getting, yeah. It says free game? Yes, free game with in-app purchases. <laughs> no sleep sucks, oh no! Sleep is important! You only buy things to support the creators, yeah, yeah. This music too. It sounds like something that would be on Viva Pinata. You should be doing art, but you don't want to do art. Well, that's up to you. That's up to you. I know I keep on like bashing this and saying this over and over and over again, but like have a have a consistent schedule to keep. Um, that way you don't. It's um, easier to get through art reds because you're drawing even though you don't want to be drawing and. Uh, it's the time you should be drawing, so if you just do it, and it's also totally fine to relax, too. Have I played Skullgirls? I've seen it. I'm not quite interested in it, but I think it's a cool project, a cool idea of a game. <coughs> oh no, I went too low. I don't want a diagonal. <laughs> you mostly like to support small indie game companies. Yeah. They always create, create godlike content. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about games. Art of the dark souls of hobbies. <laughs> Just like, you breathe. Oh, you die. You look at a blank sheet of paper, oh, you die. <laughs> you drink out of the paint the paintbrush cup, oh, you die. <clears throat> Just want to know if I do commission for the 3D video character thingies. Oh, so it's not 3D, it's a uh, live 2D and it's uh it is an illusion of 3D. And I do do commissions. Um, I've got a list of people right now. It might be a few months until I'm free and available again. But if you want to get a spot, I do do commissions. Um, all the information of that is on my Etsy. And yeah, there's uh, Sushi Sa Studios on Etsy. Yeah. Time to breathe. <laughs> Does anyone here like Telltale games? Like, or choose your own adventure game? I think, yeah, I think I do, yeah. Oh, you know it's 2D? Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, I kind of like those, uh, story games. Um. <clears throat> although I couldn't finish playing it, the, uh, what was it called? The horror game I played, uh, Turtlehead. I did enjoy the, um, sort of, like, roaming around, talking aspect, and, like, I don't know. There's various endings that you can get. Yay! It looks like the, uh, grub head is done. I'll take this, bring it over to the other side. Bring it through. Yeah. Telltale games are pretty nerve-wracking sometimes, yeah. You killed- you killed Tweedledum! Oh no! Oh 
What about Tweedledee? My twin brother. What's my opinion on Gotcha? Uh, Gotcha is like the, um, sort of like the story making sort of thing. It could be a game or something. I think it's good practice uh, for some people. Some people uh, may struggle with making their own animations and stories, but that's their way uh, to be able to work around that. So it's kind of half and half. Yeah. I think it's fine. It's not quite my cup of tea, but I know that um, mostly much younger people tend to use it quite a bit. And that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's just, I don't find interest in it. I might be a bit old for that, but people of all ages are able to use it. So I think that's fine. Most, most of what I know about Gotcha comes from uh, Biju Mike's channel. <laughs> Just uh, watching him react to Gotcha animations. <laughs> and some of them are pretty funny. <laughs> oh, not Gotcha Life? Oh, Gotcha part of a moral game. Oh! <laughs> Sorry! I just saw Gotcha and I thought... Okay, I am unfamiliar with that then. This little... Someone in your class uses gotcha and made some cool drawings. Yeah! Some of them are pretty cool. If you like gotcha life, more power to you. You don't care for it? Yeah. It's different per person, too. I think it's a handy tool for those uh, who may not be confident in their art skills. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Is tummy. Hopefully the colors are a bit readable. Might have to put a black line through here or a green line or something. So what's the gacha game that you're talking about? Or is it a game? <laughs> you're gacha confused. <laughs> I'm confused too. All I did I hear gacha and I just hear the like, gacha life, the little animation thing. Alright. Tell me. Your bowl of cereal is 85% cereal dust. <laughs> Uh, that could be gross, depending on what it is. I think my favorite cereal is um, Honey Bunches of Oats, or at least it's knockoff. <laughs> That's exactly like it. Um, but that cereal dust is just fine. Other cereal dust, like Cocoa Puffs, or no, not not Cocoa Cocoa Puffs. It's uh, Cocoa Pebbles. When that is just dust, then it then it's gross. Yeah. Not a huge fan of fruit cereals. You got gotcha because you felt like it. Yeah, that's right. No one's stopping you. Alright, it's belly is done! And it is a little bit hard to tell. So I might do like a dark green line up through the belly. Oh, it's frosted mini weeds. Ew. Oh my goodness. What is up with all these bots? You are blacklisted. Brighter, it takes so long. My word. A nice grub. Yep, we're almost done with it. Almost, almost. Begun. 
you guys know what to do with the extra string afterwards? I feel bad for throwing them away. Grubs remind you of truffle worms. Truffle worms? Let me click that up. Truffle worms. No, not videos, just images. Oh, I can't see them. Oh, okay, from Terraria. Hi, Froggyo! Welcome! Okay. Ringing this. We don't need a whole lot. Everything that is worth doing takes time. I agree. I agree. Takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. Makes me appreciate uh, embroidery a lot more. Ah. Oh, Cookie Run is a gotcha game. Oh, okay. So is it like a style of game? If so, wouldn't Genshin Impact sort of be like that too? Where it's like, no, not really. I don't know. <laughs> Does leftover string make good kindling? I guess so. I guess it could. We do have a fireplace, but um, we can't really use it. <clears throat> there was one time after the semester was over where me and my roommates all went out to the dunes and we set our homework on fire, and it was great. <laughs> Depends on the material, yeah. I guess you don't want to burn synthetic things. Uh, thankfully, I think this is all cotton. Gotcha games are games with randomized loot. Oh, or characters. That, and those will affect the gameplay. I think that's pretty cool. It's definitely a very effective marketing strategy. So long as you make the characters look good or they actually make a difference in gameplay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> gotcha is where you draw characters of different rarities for your team. Ah! I, I don't think I've really played yeah, I'm not sure if I've really played any gotcha games like that. Okay. They sound cool in concept. <laughs> Your 50% gotcha. <laughs> Varying rarity each day. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oops, 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 oops. No, no, no. Not like this. Not like this. Okay, reverse. Reverse. Put in reverse, Terry. Yeah. Oops. Teeny tiny string. game part of gotcha is a gotcha game. <laughs> gotcha boy. <laughs> yeah, I wanted the string. So you gotta keep in mind the flow of the string as well. Going from side to side, up and down. It helps with the form of the character, or not character, but like the form of the subject. Reverse the string and needle. <laughs> <laughs> you were drawn and created you affected gameplay coming progression worthy <laughs> there we go little flow of the mustache gotcha games are alright like games that include sudden amount of adrenaline. 
by a really difficult boss. Yeah. That's definitely Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> I know, I just love that game so much. It doesn't hold your hand, it's like... It throws you in the middle of battle without a care if you're ready for it or not. And I like figuring that out, if I'm ready for the enemy or not. Oh, don't turn into a nut! Good. Chicory, a colorful tail. Oh! Hang on, let me get my paper. Where's my paper? Yeah, here's my paper. No, wait! Where did you go? Had like a note of things. Yeah. Your car is laying on you? What? <laughs> Cat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hello, hello, boy. Welcome. Welcome, my boy. Okay, I'll just use this piece of. Chicory, a colorful tail. Here we go. Boop -boop -boop -boop. Sorry, you've been rotting your Xbox so oh dear. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? Oh, I have a string back here. What is it for? Oh, it's from here. I lost my track of the card of that. A cart? <laughs> a car, a cat is a cart. Do 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 do. There we go, the little mustache. I, uh, I wish you guys could see this a little bit better. Cars and cats are the same thing. <laughs> All right, I think the grub is done. Actually, we'll take I'll take a look through. Maybe it needs to have um, maybe it needs to have a dark green line going up, or maybe no, it'll be nice and subtle. Let's see. Here we go. Ugh. The grub. Ah! <laughs> picture of it because this doesn't do it justice <laughs> you gotta head out that's totally fine um the live stream usually ends in like an hour so yeah thank you for coming though love my birdie thank you the grub agony <laughs> all right now we can take these all these little string ends and just snip them off and it should be safe on the other side with the loose string um it should be kind of, like, held together by all the other strings. Embroidery ASMR. And then pull it back, and then just kind of... Yeah. What's cool about embroidery is that it makes a drum sound. Hang on. You gotta... Oops. That's tightening it. What? But yeah, when you tighten the... When you tighten the strings, it makes a drum sound. <laughs> what if this whole time the camera lens is manual, not auto? I wonder, actually. Huh. Gonna have to look that up. Huh. The problem with this, though, is that even in manual mode, I can't find the, the most clear image, you know? It's kind of like all fuzzy. You wish you can send gifts, yeah. Oh wait, can you can you do it on YouTube? I think you could do it on Twitch. Not sure. Anyway. Yeah, it's a cute little grub. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, 
Okay, I'm unsure of what to do next. Got like the little... <sighs> You've never seen anyone do this with Hollow Knight? Yeah! Uh, I've found this one Domestica course uh, about miniature embroidery, and I thought, oh, well, this sounds really cool. Why don't I do it with Hollow Knight? Yeah. You're gonna eat the <laughs> grub charm? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I could attempt doing the uh, Mark of Pride again. It's just difficult. I've been trying to get the colors right, and it seems like the details are lost because there's just so much. So, we'll see about that. It's kind of just a mush. But you can clearly see Quirrell in the grub. You'd eat him. But yeah, wouldn't it be cute? Have this little grub inside of this thing that looks a lot like the canister, or the little glass jar he's in. <laughs> That'd be really cute. We'll see how that goes. Hmm. I really don't like wasting space, so I might do a couple up here as well, and then take this off, cut it up. I'm like a huge person against waste. I, I love efficiency. I love getting things done, you know. All right, what character should we do now, or charm? Let's go ahead and look it up. <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hollow Knight characters and their crimes? Oh dear. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see, what about charms? Charms are, let's try charms again. Night charms. They just have so much detail, you know. Oh, music stopped, hang on. Also, I'm loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> the grim child. Uh, the Grim Child looks like something I can do. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, some of them just have so much detail, and the colors all just kind of blend together, so that would be very difficult to do. But the Grim Child is pretty distinct from a distance, so I might be able to do that. <laughs> the Dream Shield. Oh dear, that would be... Oh goodness, that would be very, very, very tough to do. The compass charm? Possibly. Yeah, I'm looking at the list uh, of the pictures of all the charms, and a lot of them just seem like way too complicated for such a small area. I might be, do it, be able to do it if I had bigger charms, but for this small... That would be way too much. I am head out. Okay. Thanks for coming, Llama. La La Lana, not Llama. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Actually, hang on. Let me try to find just like Grim. I'll do his face. His luscious face. He suggests a sharp shadow. That one's essentially all black. Yeah. You gotta go do stuff? Okay! Thanks for coming! Yeah, I'll be heading off in about, uh, five minutes. Or, no, not five minutes, uh, ten minutes. Blah, blah. Okay. Let's do the Grim Boy. Let's, uh, put that right there. And look at Grim. Um... shape of his head reminds me of Bendy and the Ink Machine, and also Mandy from Billy and Mandy. 
The most attractive charm, Luke. <laughs> oh dear, no! I think Grim would be a very fun one to do. Beautiful Nasker. Oh! Hi, it's Dinner DBS. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> Mandy and the Ink Machine. <laughs> I would be very disappointed in a fifth. That hasn't been done yet. If Sony didn't make a joke fine art of that. <laughs> but yeah, I grew up with the uh, watching the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. That was my childhood show. And also was my humor. <laughs> or it still is my humor. <laughs> Thank you! That was very kind, Dart Devious. Wait, hang on. Why don't I just draw it? <laughs> the cursed. I don't know if you can see it. Hang on. No, you can barely see it. Also, my pajamas! I got different pajamas. Um, these pajamas are nice, but they don't have pockets! And they don't do pockets for girls! I don't know why! No, you can't really see it on here. <laughs> but somebody's gotta draw it! charm would look really nice with it. There's only like a few... Yeah, it's uh, three diff- just a only three different styles. This is more like a plant, so maybe I could just do like a plant one. Plant character. Something. <laughs> Pro tip. <laughs> the lack of pockets and pants is the biggest injustice toward me. <laughs> exactly! Why do they feel the need that we don't need pockets? Not everyone carries curse pers not curses, purses. <laughs> it just went a whole bunch of Buy male pajamas with pockets. Yeah. Well these are these were gifted to me. So yeah. Okay, so I have to put this one up here. I might have to adjust the sizing of this, make his eyes a little bit bigger. That'll be okay. And this is a special heat erasable pen. See. Also, I'm gonna have to turn off this light and probably blind you guys real quick. The light. <clears throat> You're drawing the Hollow Knight right now. It's your favorite character. Yeah. Okay, I gotta I gotta rotate this a little bit. Yeah. So I can see it a little bit better. Uh, do the outline. Draw it lightly. We don't want this to soak into the stream. There we go. That looks a lot nicer. Blinded by the light. Alex, make it not cold outside anymore. 
done. Actually, we need the cold where we are. We need the moisture. I'm sorry though, wear a jacket or something. All right. I've been using a lot of black. white <laughs> for two dollars I will I will make the outside I will make the outside better <laughs> do I speak another language um not really not very well um I can I can read a little bit of Spanish it's hard for me to speak it It's like a silver that can melt, kind of melt a little bit into here. I need to do a color in between. Um, keep looking. Sorry if that was loud. Just opening my stack of string. cold over heat because it's easier to get warm than to be cool you know lot of space to work with. <laughs> then fabulous pink eyes. It's 40 to 50 right now. Oh dear. Yeah, I think it's like... Let me check the weather. It's about the 40s range where we are, too. Oh, man, you're used to much higher temperatures. Oh, goodness. Alright, well, I'm gonna string this up. It is almost 12 o'clock. I might have to call it good for this live stream. But yeah, I'll continue working on this. As you can see, there was a lot of other things I was doing on the side. So yeah, I'll keep working on this and we'll see where that goes. I'll be able to start streaming again on Tuesday of next week, hopefully. We'll see. String that up. Three ten. Not sure if this is going to be too yellow. Or maybe that'll be fine because it'll complement this uh, pink color. We'll see. But yeah, I think I'll call that good. Let me go ahead and thread this needle and I'll be signing off. But yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming over, hanging out with me, even though the quality is really, really fuzzy. And yeah. And yeah, thank you so much, Stardevious, for the uh, donation again. Oh, that was very nice of you. Thank you all for coming, and thank you newcomers for coming. And I hope you have a most wonderful day. Bye bye! Alright, hang on. Gotta. Okay. Sorry, I gotta sync this up, because there's a bit of a delay on.